thought I would do an update on how uh, our bees wintered using the new Apame hives. Uh, as you can see, they are doing extremely well and I'm really pleased with the result. It's April 2nd, it's early spring. There's no leaves on the trees yet. And these uh, four hives that we uh, tried this year, all, col all four colonies made it through the winter. And not only did they make it through the winter, but they are, it's almost like there was no winter. Now we're here in the Toronto area. We didn't have a super harsh winter this year, but uh, nonetheless, it was pretty long, started in November really, and just now we're getting some warm weather. And um, the colonies did great in these hives. Some of the uh, really good things that uh, these hives do for cold winters is um, they're insulated, so they have an R value of around a six, I think. Uh, they also have a top, uh, the top uh, entrance is insulated. So um, they do really well keeping the hives warm. And one of the things that we do see is the bees seem to eat through their stores a little bit faster. Uh, that hive over here, number two in the middle, almost got through all their stores, started to uh, starve a little bit, and we were able to supplement them in uh, January with some sugar, and they've bounced right back. So the drawbacks of this hive, the only things that I really don't like is the bottom box is fused to the bottom uh, board. So you can't actually take the box off and sweep out some of the dead bees that you see in the winter time. Um, you actually have to take the frames out and go in there with a little brush. Uh, one of the things though is there were very few dead bees this year in each of the hives. Um, when I say very few, there was there was quite there was a little bit. Uh, there was you know maybe you know a few hundred I guess in each hive, but nowhere near what we see in the wooden hives. Um, the other thing is the ventilation areas, which are great. But you can see I put some tape on some of the vents just to cut down the west wind gusts. I noticed near the top you get the odd dead bee up there and uh, probably getting chilled from some of the gusts. Uh, so it still allows ventilation, but it uh, it cuts down on the drafts. But other than that, um, lots of great features. Uh, the entrance reducer, the front ventilation, the escapes. The like I said, the insulation is awesome, and the construction is fantastic. There's really no none of the bees have to propolize anything. It's super dry inside, and there's a bunch of other features I'm gonna touch on in other videos but I just wanted to update everyone on the performance it's only four hives so maybe it's, and you know the sample isn't that high but every single one is just uh, booming right now and I'm probably gonna have to split these hives because they're actually performing so well that uh, the population is just gonna go through the roof in another couple weeks so I put some links at the bottom of the video on the hives and some of the treatments I use. Again, I don't use any, uh, I use all natural treatments uh, for varroa control and that seems to work good and I've put some links on the, what I use there as well and also a link to our 1 million B uh, sponsorship uh, that we've launched last year and you know you can check that out and let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, check our other videos that are going to be coming out soon. Thank you.